Your dream golf simulator is a lot cheaper than you think. Right now is the best time to put together one of these. This is my dream golf simulator. It's been a work in progress over the last couple of years. And it's been such a pleasure and such an incredible experience to be able to play just about any course in the world, no matter the weather. So on today's video, we're gonna talk about the setup and the technology that you're gonna to need to be able to pull one of these dream golf simulators off. We're gonna talk about some of the deals that are happening right now for the holidays. It's probably the cheapest time in history to build yourself a dream golf simulator. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can literally press the easy button and make this cheaper and easier than you ever thought possible. Now, before we do that, I'm gonna ask you one thing and that's to hit subscribe because not only I'm gonna show you some amazing deals now, but throughout the year, I'm searching for the best deals and I let the community know. This community, the Let's Play Through community, gets discounts no one else gets. So being a subscriber is gonna help you save and it helps me grow this channel. All right, let's get to work. So the first thing you've gotta think about and really make sure of is that you've got enough space. The main thing we need to think about is to have a ceiling height of at least, I would say, 10 feet. You can get away with a little bit less, maybe nine, nine and a half, possibly, but 10 is really going to make you feel safe and secure. And especially if you invite people over who are a little taller, they're going to appreciate that space. If you use an optical device like I've got here, this is the GC Quad, and we're going to cover devices in the next section in terms of launch monitors. But with an optical device, you only need just enough space so that when you hit a golf ball and that ball ricochets, it doesn't come hitting you back in the face. I would recommend about eight feet to feel really comfortable. Now, in terms of the swing, you need just enough in order to swing freely. And so I would say you need probably another four or five feet. Let's call it 12 feet as a minimum in terms of length. Now, if you do wanna save a little bit of money, you can get a different type of golf launch monitor. Like I said, this is an optical based system, but there are Doppler based systems that sit behind the ball. Those you're gonna need a little extra space. You're gonna need somewhere between five and eight feet behind you. So in that scenario, I would recommend the length of the room to be 16 feet. Now in terms of width, you don't need quite that much space. You can get away with about nine feet, I would say. Maybe even eight if you were really pushing it, but we're gonna call it nine feet. Again, it's gonna depend on your swing plane, how up and down you take it or how inside and out you take it. That's gonna make a big difference. But nine feet for me would be a good thing to shoot for. And of course, the more the merrier. Now that we've made sure we have ample space in the room, the next thing you need to consider and the first big purchase, maybe the biggest purchase of them all is gonna be the launch monitor. Now, as I mentioned, there's two main types of launch monitors. There's optical based launch monitors. Those, if you've got the budget, are going to be the most accurate indoors. Doppler radar based systems are generally a little bit cheaper and they can give you pretty darn good accuracy, maybe 95% of what the optical ones can do. But if you really want to maximize your accuracy and the results you get, an optical based system is going to be better in most cases. There are two launch monitors on the market, which I think blow away the competition. The Bushnell Launch Pro, which has just recently come down in price considerably to $1,999. That would be my pick for most people. Now the caveat with that one is you're gonna have a subscription fee annually for that one. That's gonna be four or $500 a year. But if you wanna get started with a super accurate device, you don't mind kind of a long-term commitment, the Bushnell Launch Pro is an incredible choice. Another great choice is going to be the SkyTrack. Now it's got a little higher starting price. The subscriptions are a little lower. Like the Bushnell Launch Pro, it's extremely accurate. I also think that the SkyTrack is the best device if you're looking to gap your clubs, if you're looking to dial in your wedge distances, SkyTrack does that really well. The SkyTrack right now during the holidays, you can save $300 over at our friends playbetter.com. And by the way, I'm going to leave links to all of these deals down below in the description. So hit those and save some money. So those are my two choices when it comes to an optical device. But if you still want to save some money and you've got the room for it, that's when we can start talking about things like the Mevo Plus. The Mevo Plus right now is also running 
a nice holiday special. You can save about $300 off the price of that. That's a fantastic device, highly accurate, very mobile device, nice and light. You can take it to the range, you can use it indoors. And that's gonna be the type of device that works well if you're gonna have both right and left-handed golfers. Because it sits behind you, you don't have to move the device around, which these optical devices generally sit to the side of the ball. With the Mevo Plus, you've also got access to third-party golf simulator software, so you can play courses out there in the world with things like E6 or GS Pro. Third party, again, you're gonna have another subscription with that, but those things are so cool to have. You can play Pebble Beach, you can play Augusta, you can play all the top names out there. And if you're still needing to stretch the budget even further, that's where I'm gonna recommend something like the Garmin R10. This thing right now, is $100 off for the holidays is the best price that I've seen at just under $500 for the first time. It's a very accurate launch monitor. It's super light, easy to set up. Again, very mobile, a great thing to just throw in your golf bag and take it to the range. You've got calculated club face data. It's not going to be as accurate as optical, but in most cases, it's really, really close. And again, you're gonna have access to things like E6. You have golf simulation available to you. Now, the one thing with the Garmin R10 is you can't do any putting, but for the price, there's always gonna be a little give and take. It's extremely good value. You can have a ton of fun with the Garmin R10. Now, I know I just threw a lot at you. And so over the last year, I've actually put together two very useful tools in order for you to figure out what is the best launch monitor for you. I've put together a quiz where you can literally fill out a questionnaire, talk about your room space, your use cases, all those things. And it's going to give you at the end a few options that are right for you. I've got that linked down below. And I've also put together a couple of videos, which I'm going to link here and down in the description where I've literally put a decision matrix together so you can choose the best launch monitor simulator for your needs and your use case. Now that we've got the launch monitor, the next item on our list is going to be the enclosure. Now, when I first built my studio, I was penny pinching and I built it from conduit that I bought over at Lowe's. I was cutting it with a pipe cutter. I put together this frame. I bought a screen over at playbetter.com and bungeed it up and I had something. There are cheap little nets on Amazon you can buy. There are a lot of things, but what I would recommend, if you really wanna have something that's going to last, that's going to really make the space beautiful and high-end looking, you should invest your money in something like this, an enclosure. About six months in, I did that, and boy, it has been a game changer. With my little screen and frame setup, it looked okay, but I didn't have any protection for the ceiling. And so I was limited on the clubs I could hit. I really couldn't hit a 54, 58 degree wedge because it would have punched holes in my ceiling. I also didn't have any great protections for side hits or miss hits. My sons are in here a lot. Sometimes they shank the ball. Heck, sometimes I shank the ball every once in a while and you wanna make sure you're protected. That's what an enclosure does. And it frames my room so beautifully. Now you might think a professional enclosure is super expensive, but in reality, it's about what I paid to make my own and it's so much better. I highly recommend you check out the playbetter.com enclosures. They've got a number of different sizes and shapes. It makes it really simple because it's toolless construction. You're just snapping things together. You're Velcroing things in. It makes it super easy to start looking like a million bucks without breaking the bank. And if you wanna further protect your room, you can do things like I did here with curtains. I've seen beautiful panels attached to the wall that provide padding. Play Better even sells these nets that you can use to offer a little bit extra protection. We all think we're good golfers, but I guarantee you there's gonna be a bad shot from time to time, even if it's not you and if it's one of your friends that are coming over to play. All right, so now that we've got the right room size, we've got the right launch monitor, and we've got the right enclosure. The next thing you wanna think about is the right mat. A mat is so important. Please, please, whatever you do, do not go on Amazon and buy one of these $50 mats. These things are paper thin. And in the end, it's gonna cause you injury and end up costing you a lot more, not only in money, but with your physical health. Highly recommend you get something like I have. I use the Monster Mat. It's a nice thick foam. It's like an inch and a half worth of foam there. It's got a real feel to it so that when I hit a fat shot, the club face doesn't just slide through and make it look like I hit a decent shot. When I hit a fat shot and I feel that fat shot, I get a fat shot result on my simulator. I'm getting very accurate, true to life feel with a premium mat. If you're interested in the monster mat for yourself, I've got a discount code where you can save 5% for being a Let's Play Through viewer. I've got that down below as well. There are other great mats out there at playbetter.com, some really premium stuff. Like I said, do not cheap out on the mat. Spend a couple of hundred dollars, 
This thing has stood the test of time. I've had this now for two years and it looks brand new. And that's what happens when you buy something of quality. So those are the three main ingredients, but there's some other things that if you really wanna take your simulator project to the next level, you're gonna want. The first one being a projector. If you wanna be able to project the image onto your screen or your impact enclosure, you're gonna wanna have a nice high quality projector. There's two brands that I think probably do it best in terms of value to quality ratio. Those are gonna be Optima and what I have here, BenQ. Now I've got an HD projector. This thing cost me about $400. It didn't break the bank necessarily. And I've got a really nice, crisp, bright picture out of it. There's a lot of different projectors out there and you've got to find the right one to fit. And in order to do that, you need to know the throw distance, which means how far, how much space you need for that image to project onto the screen in order to fill it up. There's a great free calculator. It's a completely free website called Projector Central. I will leave that link down below, but make sure you do the research up front. Don't just go buy something because there's short throws, there's long throws, there's HD, there's 4K, there's a lot of options out there. Make sure you do the research first to ensure that it fits your room and it's gonna fill up your screen. Now the last piece of the puzzle that you're gonna need is a high quality gaming computer. And there are a few specs that are must. They need to run Windows 10 or 11, and most importantly, they need to have an NVIDIA graphics card. Do not make a mistake and buy a computer with an AMD graphics card because a lot of golf simulator softwares will not run that. You need an NVIDIA card. A couple years ago, there was a chip shortage for graphic cards. They were very expensive, but now they've come back down to reality. And most computers these days come with a 4060, which is more than enough for what we're gonna need here for the golf simulator. My computer, for instance, has a 3060 card and you can get away with even less. Definitely make sure that when you decide on the launch monitor that you want, you go to the website and look at the minimum specs, but pretty much any new computer these days is going to give you much more than you need. Here's a great deal that I found at Costco for $899. This thing has a 4060 graphics card in it, and it's fantastic. The two places I would shop if you didn't want to build one of these yourself is to go to Sam's Club or Costco. Great deals there. I've walked into Sam's Club and seen them again for $900 or $1,000. Great, great deals. But right now during the holidays, like I said, there's some blowouts out there. So yeah, those are the main things you're gonna need for the golf simulator of your dreams. Of course, you can go as crazy as you want, really tricking it out. But here's what I'd say. You can always start somewhere and that's not where you have to end. These things are a constant work in progress. And if you've got the basics that we talked about here on today's video, you're gonna have a really solid foundation. Now remember in the beginning of the video, I told you that you could literally press the easy button and make this a whole heck of a lot easier and cheaper to do. Well, you can do that with playbetter.com's Sim Studio packages. They come with everything we talked about, including the golf launch monitor itself, the enclosure, the screen, the projector, which actually mounts to the enclosure itself. Super cool. And it's got some nice upgrades and goodies that you can add on, like side netting, like turf, mats, and even things like ball trays. They've got discounts on all of these for the holidays. In particular, I'd recommend their SkyTrack Plus Sim Studios where you can save up to $1,000 on the cost of one of these things. So this is gonna be your best opportunity of the year to save some really big bucks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you save some money. If you end up building your dream golf simulator, please send me a picture. My email address is letsplaythrough at gmail.com. I would love to see your setup. We may even feature it in an upcoming video, but there's so many amazing, cool things out there. This video is literally just the tip of the iceberg. Your imagination is the limit. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you back next time on another edition of Let's Play Through.